you've probably heard or read a lot about high cholesterol and triglycerides from your friends, from the internet, and even WhatsApp messages. You know, there's a lot of information out there. And some actually, I think, misunderstandings as well. Yeah. You know, you see things like high cholesterol can cause blockages to even high cholesterol being harmless. You know, hence causing a lot of confusion in people. You know, I'm a cardiologist and every day my patients ask me, Doctor, I have high cholesterol. What should I do? What food should I eat? Should I be on a diet? Should I be on medicines? And so today, let us demystify this very cholesterol and understand its significance. I'm Dr. Sonelal Gupta. And I'm Dr. Samir Gupta. And welcome to Doctors on Call. Cholesterol is the waxy substance that is there in every lining of our body. It is also essential for proper functioning of the body as it helps make certain hormones like estrogen and testosterone, vitamin D and helps nerve cells to function properly. So cholesterol is good for you. But it is very clear that if you have high cholesterol in your blood, especially bad cholesterol or LDL cholesterol, then you have a higher risk of having blockages in the arteries of your body, increasing your risk of heart attacks, strokes and a whole host of other illnesses. The good cholesterol or the HDL cholesterol is actually protective from blockages and decreases the risk of blockages. Now, the liver in your body makes all the cholesterol you need and circulates it through the blood. Dietary cholesterol, that is the cholesterol you get from your food, only accounts for a small percentage of your total body cholesterol. But this becomes important when you eat diets rich in bad fats like trans fats. Your liver produces even higher amounts of cholesterol, especially the bad LDL cholesterol, and that is very bad for you. Now, irrespective of what you read, it is very important to keep your cholesterol in check. Now, diet and exercise definitely help this. But if your cholesterol is still not controlled with diet and exercise, then you may require medications. Now, let's see what some of the other doctors in the community have to say about it. In the 90s, we did not have efficient ways of controlling coronary artery disease. There were some studies with fibrate and also with the acid, but they were not very successful. Then came the statins and that made a big change. Currently, all diabetics, if not all, at least most diabetics, should be receiving statin therapies. The intensity of statin therapy, whether it's moderate or it is high, depends upon the age of an individual and also the risk factor that the person has, but most people at the same would request help. If somebody has already had an event in terms of a stroke or cardiovascular disease, uh, then the person should receive a high intensity statin therapy. Anybody age 40 or above should receive moderate intensity therapy, even in the absence of risk factors, but if they are having hypertension or proteinuria or renal disease, or any more than 100 smokers with damage to hypertension, then they should be candidates for high intensity. Lifestyle changes is the most cost effective approach to lower the lipids. The various way to healthy lifestyles are eating low fat or fat free dairy product, not eating junk food, fast food, processed food or fried food, but eating roasted or grilled food, exercise a day for at least 30 minutes a day, uh, 4 days a week is good enough. Apart from the lifestyle changes, some supplement and medication are also there. The supplement like omega-3 fatty acids are easily available in the counter and also present in some salmon fish, canola oil and olive oil. But my advice to the patient, one should not take anti lipper drugs without consulting their treating physician. You know, I am a cardiologist and I deal with heart patients every day. And I can tell you, high cholesterol in the blood is bad for you. And you know, as a neurologist who sees stroke patients every day, I can tell you one thing again, cholesterol is bad for you. So do remember whether you use diet, exercise or even medications, do keep your cholesterol under check. That's all for now. See you next week.